Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and today I have some more, um, I have fuzz on my envelopes <laughs> from Sorry Silk. <clears throat> um, I have some more tags, so I'm going to share them with you guys, and then we'll go on to the video. Um, I got these after I filmed the video, so um, I wanted to make sure I let everybody see them you know, as soon as I possibly could. So this first one's from Gloria. So I'm just going from the top down here, the, the first one I grab kind of thing. Actually, I think I'm gonna cut, cause I can see with my light right here that I can snip off the ed end of this and not cut anything. <clears throat> and that way, if I want, I can use my envelope again. Okay, so we have Happy 50th, Amy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's one of my um, art dolls. <laughs> He's the shoes. That's a great idea for the wings. Oh my gosh, Gloria, that is so cool. <clears throat> She's used my art dolls and I can't remember exactly which one this is. But I have all different sets of art dolls, so you can go uh, check them out in my shop. But uh, one of the earlier ones I did, I put shoes with it too and so she's taken the shoes cut those out and put them on like wings that is hilarious I love that <laughs> thank you so much that's so awesome so um it should always be 29 to me oh you are the sweetest person ever so anyway on Instagram she's Gloria Pollock Facebook create with Gloria Pollock and her website is stamping character stampin up dot net so she's, I think um, you sell Stampin' Up, right, Gloria? I'm pretty sure I knew that. But um, yeah, so there's her information. So you can go check her out. And I'll put it, all these in the description box below the video too. So that if you um, don't catch this fast enough or whatever, that you can go back and see it. I absolutely love it, Gloria. And it's on um, corrugated cardboard. And she's done all kinds of cool stuff to it. I can see back there and book page. And there's a die cut here. That's uh, just very cool. Thank you so much. I love the idea of the shoes for wings. It's great. All right. <clears throat> so that one's from Gloria. And then the next one we have is, I'm just looking at the name real quick, Kip. This is from Kip. Thank you so much, Kip. I'm going to try again. Can I see? I can't see through this one, so I better not do that. Oh, it opened easily. Yay. Love that. All right. Uh, oh, that's so nice. I'm sure not true at all, but thank you. <laughs> New York. Very cool. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. What are you talking about? So cool. I love it. And I love that little wooden, it's um, wooden hearts, but she turned it into a butterfly. Isn't that cool? And all the, the Tim Holtz flower and a doily and a Tim Holtz paper doll. It's beautiful. So, yep, that's from Kip. I love it. I love that um, stamp from Tim Holtz, too. I love those crazy cats that he has in the little cute bag that it goes in with the stamps on it. Very cute. Um, let's see. Oh, look at that. Very cute napkin. I'll have to save it for next Easter because, oh my gosh, I love Peter Rabbit. That is adorable. Thank you so much. So sweet. I love it. That is so fun. You guys do such a good job and you're say like you're not as good as I am or whatever <laughs> it's not about all it's not like that don't uh, don't worry you guys do awesome I don't know what you're worried about this is really cool all stamped this one is from my friend Brenda I think yes Brenda Brenda lives in Canada I'm just gonna cut the end off again oopsie Oopsie. I'm trying to cut really a very little bit because I obviously don't want to cut anything. Sending crafty hugs. I love that. You're not old, you're vintage. Yes, I am. Very cool. Love it. 
beautiful tissue paper here. I'm gonna take off this little piece and save this tissue paper because I don't have any like this. That's very cool. I don't see a lot of neat tissue paper really anywhere, which is weird. But again, like I've said a million times, I don't really shop, so that could be part of the reason I don't see anything. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, this is so cool, Brenda. That old card. Card. Car. Or it's actually a carriage. It's not even a car. That's awesome. Just a note. Ah, oh, Thank you, Brenda. So she put the note in on a sticky note. So now I can use that in a journal. And what a great use of a 3x5. Or I think this one's actually a, what, a 4x6 or whatever they are. Yeah. Yeah, four by six and a half. Very cool. Love that. Oh, look at that. So fun. Love dangles. Look at this. So we have a Tim Holtz lady and some doily and a Tim Holtz flower. You and um, Gloria had, or um, Kip had similar pieces. Very cool. And the little um, Tim Holtz paper clip. And I don't remember what those are. Are they stickles or they're like the little shiny sort of glue? They almost look like a brad, but it's not a brad. Those are very cool. I need to get something like that. I love it. I love it. This is May and the vintage, um, vintage up label there. Very nice. And then I love the little pocket it's in because I can add this pocket to the... <clears throat> The little um, tag book. Great washi stickers. Thank you, thank you. I love these. Fabulous. Thank you so much, Brenda. And Brenda is on um, Instagram, Brenda Clark. So do check her out on Instagram. She makes beautiful stuff. Lovely. I love it. And I, I love that I can use this in a journal too. So cool. Thank you so much. That is so nice of you. I love your guys' tags. They're great. They're going to be a great, um, fun tag book. So I'm going to put this with this so that I remember who did which one here. Oh, and did you put your name on the back? Okay, good, good, good. She did. And May 3rd, she put a three there. Very nice. All right, this one is from Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. These are so fun. I'm so glad I did this because I just love to see what other people make. And I like to, you know, feel the different textures and I don't know, it's just very cool. I like it a lot. So thank you guys for doing this with me. I really appreciate it. I read my little card here. Oh, look, it's got a uh, seal in the baby. <laughs> That's so cute. What a great idea, too. Just like a image out of a magazine just on there like that. That is so cool. Oh, she took the picture on the front. Oh, it was so nice. She said that my channel helped her through the last few years. You know, all of us. <laughs> we all we all had a crazy few years, didn't we? That's so cool. <clears throat> or maybe, okay, I get it now. This is the picture she took and then she put it on. Because I was like, there's no pelican. Okay, so she took this picture and then she of a pelican, and you can see that here's the neck and the head of the pelican and the body of the pelican, and she put it on Photoshop uh, to you know get the coloration and all that. Yeah, very cool. I thought you meant the card at first, so I was confused, but. And then she's put like um, 
jump rings and uh, when you punch holes, you know, out of different kinds of paper. So there's all different textures here. That's really cool. I love that pelican. That was really neat. Sarah Day. Very cool, Sarah. I like it a lot. Thank you so much. Very artistic. Gosh, you guys just do such great work. It's just awesome. So thank you. Thank you for doing this with me or for me. I really do appreciate it a ton. So let's see what we got here. <clears throat> got this and this and the lovely one from Kip. And then Gloria cracks me up. You guys do awesome. All right, so now we'll go on to the video and have a wonderful Friday and a happy weekend. And I will see you again after this video on Monday. Bye. Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. So we're gonna continue work on our um, fabric journal here. And I haven't done anything else. I haven't even done this part yet where I'm gonna stitch the, um, the back part of the postcard on. And I forgot to tell you guys, these are just, I have some old vintage postcards and I've just made a copy, a photocopy of the back. Um, so that's where I got this. And then I just glued it to paper that we did the um, collage on the other day. I forgot to mention where the postcard came from. But I know there's a lot of people like, I think Taylor made journals and um, other Etsy shops that have the vintage postcard backs. So I'm, I'm sure they're fairly easy to find, but that's how I got mine. Um, so what was I going to say? I think that was that. Um, that. So what we're going to do is the back portion, the, the page that goes behind um, this first page. So when you turn it, these two will be stitched together. And um, so we're going to work on this side of this page and I thought it would be fun I have these uh, little seed envelopes that you know you can put the date and um, date harvested and you know all that type of thing and I've just added a piece of manila file folder as the the card that will slip in and out of there so the thing that I need to think about with this one is how I'm going to attach this onto this and then I'm going to, what I was gonna do was glue uh, that to that flap of the envelope. So I'm thinking I'm gonna have to like stitch down here, <laughs> which might be interesting. So what I'm probably gonna wanna do is bring this out just a touch, like not have it um, right at the edge of the flap because that might also get partially stitched down really know how I want to do that. So that's always the tricky part when you're working with um, fabric is trying to think of how to make all these things happen. I don't want to stitch all the way around, which I could, I mean, I guess I could do that. And then just have the flap free. I might have to make my little card in here a little bit smaller, but that would be more secure if I did do it that way. Just stitch around this side, this side, and this side. Leave this to flap. You could actually tuck another card into there and then also have the card in here. Maybe I will do it like that. I just think it'll be, I'm really worried that if I do it with just a stitch here and both of these are flapping that this isn't very thick and I'm afraid it'll rip off eventually. So <clears throat> yeah, I think that's how I'm gonna have to do that. Okay, so do I want to do that first? Probably not. Well, I <laughs> guess I should have thought of all this part, huh? I, I was going to do it different, but then the more I started to think about it, I think I could. Let's just work on it, and then we'll do the stitching later. Okay, I've decided that. So I'm going to first hook this to this other, hook the two pieces together. How's that? So how y'all doing? Hope you're having a, a wonderful day. I am having a good day. <clears throat> my son is home today, which I always love when they're home. He, uh, they had their senior skip day. <laughs> so he's going to go to a birthday party tonight. So he and another friend went and got a birthday gift. For it.
but it's just fun having them around. My kids. My daughter's having a stressful day because she has a presentation, a uh, 15 minute presentation in one of her classes. So she was stressed because she's um, like I am, like super shy and doesn't like speaking to people. I can do this because you're all not sitting here looking right at me at the moment, like while I'm doing it. So I can do that. But, but if you were all sitting here looking at me, it would be a different story. So yeah, unfortunately, I think that's pretty normal though. I don't, th I, I don't think there's a ton of people who just love giving presentations. So, so then what I was also thinking along the edges and stuff. I don't know. I just like to do something fun. This is a piece of Tim Holtz fabric with the rulers. And then I thought I might also stitch down some of these other bits from this. Um, I think that one is the Croak Digital. I'm using my Croak, my Ribbit and my Croak. So there's going to be bits and pieces from both. So if you have one of them and you're like, that isn't in there, but I think this is Ribbit. Um, then it's coming from the other one, is all I'm saying. I'm just trying to figure out. I might kind of want to place that over a little ways. I thought it'd be fun to have a bird, kind of just this whole sciency sort of random thing. And not all these pieces are sciency because, like, this says something about orders, but it's for other, um, it's out of the Sears and Row book. I just liked the um, numbers and whatnot there. So I was gonna stitch this all down. So this could go over here. I'll have to move that over. Sciency, exploration, whatever you would wanna term that. But yeah, these will all have to get stitched because they're not gonna glue. I'm not gonna be able to glue that down, but put all that, stitch all that down, and then this piece will flap open right about here since we're gonna stitch it all the way down. <clears throat> and then I thought this could go on the card or it could even go on here. But since I'm going to sew that whole pocket down, I think I might just leave this for journaling space here instead of um, putting more images there. So let's work on the card here. Figure out what we wanna do with that. I'm just gonna kind of close this so it's the way that it, the, the way that I want it, and we can work on this, get it a little bit decorated up, okay, and I have to move stuff that I have everywhere. And this is my crow digital. If I want one of those little things. This one would be kind of fun with the books with the toad on it. Would the leaping toad fit? No. No, he would. Maybe you want the leaping toad on there. He'd be kind of cool. And then what else? For a, kind of a background -y something. Bugs might be kind of good. Look right there. Oh, there's that leaping toad again. <laughs> All right. So let's see. I think the bugs would be fun to have on here. I'll be able to get. Yeah, I should be able to get both of both rows there of them. What are you guys all up to? I know. I hear. Um, a lot of people have said they got snow over Easter, and I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess we've had, I heard today that we had here in Idaho the coldest April so far, and we're only, you know, we're not even to the end of April, but um, the coldest April ever here, which I can kind of believe because it's been a little bit miserable. I mean, colder than most of January, <laughs> honestly. It's been weird. Crazy, crazy weather. Yeah, I'm gonna end up having to tear part of that uh, butterfly type. I don't know if it's a moth or a butterfly. I drew it, but <laughs> I don't. 
I'm gonna look into what they are. I just go, ooh, that's a cool looking thing. <laughs> I'm great, right? Uh, it's more about the way it looks to my eye than anything else. Do I wanna tear off the little bug down here? I don't know why I'm so worried about it because I'm gonna put this over it, huh? So it's not even gonna matter. Are we even gonna see any bugs? Maybe we don't wanna use this. I'll kind of get hints of them. This is from my uh, Torn Paper and Fern Digital. That mushroom card. I think I will just tear this off and not worry about what's on it. It's more just a background, truly, truly. So my poor moth lost his head. I do like the writing over here. So. so that will go there. I might be able to tear this down a tiny bit. That would sort of help. There's always lots of space on those um, old fashioned I don't know what they would be. Cards, you know, scientific cards. Plate cards, maybe that's what they are. And then I'll have that. There's nose up in the air. Might be too big. Just trying to visualize. I don't know if he might match too well. Like be too matchy. I don't know that one. Sitting that direction. Sorry, I know I should have all these cut out, but I just haven't had any extra time. Any time that I've been able to work on this for the most part has been with you guys. So I apologize for not having stuff already cut out. I mean, I have had a little bit of time to like maybe place some things how I might want them, but that's about it. <clears throat> I've been busy, I don't even know really why. Just have been. I think it's just anytime there's any kind of holiday really, you know, cause you just have things to plan and do and whatever. My husband and I are gonna go on a little vacation um, we're leaving on the 5th of May, and uh, so I've got that coming up too, son's graduation, like I mentioned. bad about that moth now because <laughs> I feel like it's going to look weird to have it sort of there, sort of not there. If you can hear a TV, it's my, it's my son's. He's watching a movie. I don't know what, it sounds very intense. <laughs> Some of you mentioned Resident Alien after I talked about it. That show is kooky. Kooky kooky. Not at all what I thought it was going to be, which is kind of good because I didn't think I would like it, but I really do because it's just so goofy. Mm. All right, let's do this. Oh, sorry, I just bumped everything. up a little bit so you guys can actually see 
would be helpful. String. We could put something over the little moth, which is what we might just do. And I need to ink around the manila file folder here. I have all those bits and pieces of manila file folder left over from this and that. And so they work great for journaling cards. <clears throat> we could do something like that. And you'll be able to see all the things. I love these bumpy, bumpy, lumpy mushrooms. They're pretty cool. Um, has the scientific name? Don't know. Sorry, I can't can't help with that. <laughs> <clears throat> it's one of those kind of things. That seventeen might be kind of neat right there. the toad one. Sorry, I might have to go shut my door. That's loud. Loud, loud. It's kind of flat on that one side, so I'm almost wondering if I should just come over here and have it like that type of thing. Maybe so. of the edge of the paper. <clears throat> I could rough it up a little bit. Okay. to keep a lot of this sort of flat just so that it doesn't get well especially in that little tiny envelope it's not going to fit anything very thick back here. be nice when this is all like <laughs> more together. Oh, didn't get that glued very well. Oh, this thing. Keeps getting um, like thick bits. And I don't know why, because it didn't used to do that. Even though I've cleaned it out. Oh, I forgot. I might have to make this card smaller, and I forgot about that. Because the stitch that's going to go on there. Well, I guess we're going to find out, huh? Oh. So that's probably why I should have put, stitched it down first. can put something decorative kind of along the edge there would probably be good. So there's not just that random flap there. Yeah, 
what should we put on there? Um, bug on there. I know I won't need all this, but I'm just tearing the whole the whole bed off. Because I could kind of put it like that. Even get it in the envelope a little bit more, and then um, that'll kind of give me a strengthening along that fold, which is nice. I'll turn it off about here. Somebody's mowing their lawn, which is hard to believe because it's not very nice out. But I know it is that time of the year. Everybody's trying to get their lawn food on their lawn, and the weather's been so miserable that we luckily did it when the it got really warm that one weekend and then after the, ever since then it's just been miserable miserable I'm gonna try to make sure I get the edges real good so that it sticks down and doesn't catch on anything that goes in and out of the envelope. Okay, we want right side up here. I'm going to let that dry before I try to fold that. Put that glued down though. Okay, I'm going to set this over here. Now we're going to kind of just work on how we want to do the placement of those things. And I might just use a tiny bit of um, glue stick to hold stuff down. And I know it's kind of crazy because these are just paper. But I think once they're stitched down, they'll be fine. I mean, obviously if somebody picks at them, they're going to come up. But... Um, I think it'll be right. I want to turn that just a little bit so it's not perfectly straight. But I want to get an idea of where I want things before I go try to stitch it. So I'm gonna, I know that one's going on the bottom. I want to fray it a little more. I might even take some other bits of string. there. I'm going to use some other colors here. It works surprisingly well. I don't know. 
why, but it does. So like these paper pieces, I'm gonna have to go all the way around. So it's gonna take a lot of maneuvering the fabric around in the machine because otherwise <clears throat> they'll just come off. That will go there. And I'll try to let those dry before it, before I try to glue or uh, stitch it. Upside down. <laughs> I'm not real great with that, but do you know north is up and south is down. <laughs> and this is one of those little pieces I, I told you guys about yesterday, but if you didn't see my video, um, when I cut those little mushroom houses, there's all the little doors and things come out. And so I just, that's a Tim Holtz uh, stamp with the figure one, two, three, four, five thing. And then I just inked around it and spritzed it with some water. And you could use any of his, well, anybody's stamps. Oh, I have some bug stamps too. I should probably get out. They're not Tim Holtz ones, but they would work just as well. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see whether this works to stitch all around all this. So we're going to try. And this is another one of those. I kind of feel like it needs something there, like maybe some more fabric. I know what I could put there. These fabric tickets. And I don't, I got this in Happy Mail. And I'm not sure if this is Tim Holtz or not. It probably is. But I, like I said, I just don't know. Oh, maybe I don't want one. I want one that can go long ways better. I mean, that one could. I suppose it doesn't really matter. Oh, somebody else is mowing now. <laughs> I mean, it is nicer today for sure compared to what it has been. But just the wind. I just don't like the wind. But if you're not bugged by the wind, then you wouldn't mind. It's not cold. I'm just slightly picky <laughs> when it comes to weather. Ain't a bird. This was just left over from my collage that I did, the Marguerite Miller collage this week. I was like, oh, the bird works. It's nature. And this one. Okay. Do a little snip of this. So it's separate pieces instead of a loop. And then can I fold this now? I think so. I want my bone folder. put the card in there because knowing my luck I will like stitch it in there like a ding dong. And I'll probably take this out too just to not have anything extra. All right I am gonna go stitch this and I will be back to show you guys. Okay hello I am back. So I have stitched everything. <laughs> because uh, nobody said I couldn't oh you know what um I just realized I need to stitch around there so I'll do that when I'm done but anyway I stitched all around the outside of I went all the way around most stuff but I do need to stitch down that side of that I forgot that oh and up over here oh my gosh I always got to forget stuff okay so but I did stitch around this and that works oh I didn't check if my little card's gonna fit though let's see where did I put it 
I hope it does because I really don't want to cut it. Cut it down. It might not. No, oh, that's the little tab. Those are kind of a pain, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it does fit. It's just a little bit tight. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to just take a little bit off and I need to glue this down a little more. So it'd probably be smart to um, glue it on, or I mean, stitch it on and then make the little card. It's just, you know, time, time isn't always on your side when you're videoing. So let me just trim that a little bit. These are all things that you guys can improve upon. <laughs> Luckily, right? But these are all things that happen while you're making journals, that's for sure. I don't know how many things. There's always something in a journal that I have to rework or, you know, whatever. Because of stuff like this. But the cool part about junk journals, or journals, however you want to say it, is that you can do that. Why is it not wanting to go in there now? Maybe let's try rounding corners. For some reason, that helps. Well, I mean, it makes sense. It's not a pointy edge to get caught on everything. It just is rounded. especially when you have a tight pocket. Now let's see if it'll go. <laughs> well, my stitching is never 100% straight either. Okay, I think we caught it that time. There we go. And then this one goes in here. And obviously once it's closed for a bit, it will settle in a little bit more. I can pour that a little more. Mucho better. All right, so there is our page for today. One page at a time, one page at a time. It's gonna be a, a kind of a slow process. So if you guys get sick of it, just say, um, can you do something else? And I may even like, do some other projects in between just to give a little reprieve just because, you know, like I said, it is, it is going to be kind of a long process to get each page done like this. This is one of those things. My aunt was talking about this. Um, I talked to her on the phone and she's working on the dollhouse uh, journal and she was saying, whose idea was this? <laughs> It was her idea. It was a joke. But, you know, because she's like, I don't know what I was thinking. But, yeah, that's sometimes what happens. You're like, oh, this would be so cool. And then you start to do it, and you're like, what on earth was I doing? But, anyway, I, I mean, I, I love this. I love the way it's looking. It's just time-consuming. That's all. But as long as you guys are willing to hang out with me, I'm good with it. And like I said, if you get like, oh, my gosh, could you just do something else? then I will do something else. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. Have a wonderful weekend. Love you guys. Talk later. Bye now.